Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old Rule Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And which right now, we are currently doing the focus, threaten the landlords. Now, I can't remember if I've read this one yet, but with all that we've given the landlords, it's time to remind them of the importance of obedience. And right now, we're currently in a border of skirmisher, you know, with the good old Chichen Itza. We're halfway done with this focus, by the way. And we still have the speaker here, but we've got a couple comments to go through as well. But let's watch us. Do I, hold on, do we do two things going on here? Hold on, border conflict. And border conflict. Oh yeah, we got two border conflicts going on. All right, that is. I've never had two border conflicts go on at the same time. We must really hate these guys, which we do. But hey, victory in the border. Uh, let's see. With merry moods and hardened hearts, a brave Atlan warrior returned with, from the conquest of La Tomba Compartida. Though this conquest was not without loss, it brought with, with it great gain and everlasting struggle with their eternal rivals. Bring back the spoils of Zochicalco. Very cool. Even more political power, stability, but even less war support, which is which is pretty much the best way I can sum it up. Oh, you guys. Actually, where are you guys? You guys are right there. Okay, cool. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. You guys are right there. And then y'all go, like, right there. And then you six. There you go. Have a good time. You shall be led by, let's see, ooh, you guys. Because this person, Yesenia, is better on defense. So, uh, let's see. Remember to put doggies in the garrisons? Yeah, I didn't. I don't remember that. Um, I asked you guys yesterday whether I should use the Jaguar Colt or the Eagle Colt, and it makes more sense since we are technically going with the Eagle Colt, if I remember correctly. We should probably use the Eagle Colt then, seeing as if we go over here. Uh, better let time go on. We're doing Eagle Reforms, so let's use them Eaglers, shall we? Which, looking not too bad. Not looking not too bad, if I do say so myself. Which will be using primary special forces for this campaign. Uh, probably, ooh, hold on, ooh, well, we gotta get more normal divisions then. Jaguar Colts, eh, they're cool and all, but, let's see, you guys are good ones, and you all, well, we gotta go with Eagle stuff, because it just makes more sense for this campaign. Thank you very much for playing, thank you very much, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I recommend I play more Equestria War, which I eventually will, I don't know when, at the time of this recording, I've actually got like two other mods, if not three other mods already in mind for the next few campaigns. Just because time is limited, and, uh, yeah, there's not a lot we can do, but the Blood Pact. The Jaguar has the obedience of many of the Empire's leaders, but still in the ruins of a pre-war church, Ocelotl takes it one step further. Slitting his palm, he watches his drops fall into a bowl. One after another, the nobles before him step up to the bowl and do it likewise. Remember, you knew this was going to happen, now you just can't back out. This is totally fine. And meeting with the Baron. The Baron does many things, but he knows a good deal when he sees one. In exchange for his neutrality, we will not flay him alive before the Imperial Palace. Now, right now, we get about 0.31 political power because our leader, as someone did say in the comments yesterday, is not very good. And I wish we could get rid of her, but it is what it is right now. Yeah, I really wish we could get rid of her. Standardized tools is very, very nice. Uh, we're actually doing pretty darn well in resources. Let's grab some militia training because we're still using infantry. Does anyone here need to train? Maybe, maybe not. We're making enough divisions. These guys are only 12 combat width, which is just a little painful. Let's go do that. Let's do that. Let's make these guys 20 combat width and let time go on just because we need time. We really do need to let time go on. Let's cut down how many divisions we're making to maybe three ish for now since we are drastically out of guns. 5,000 guns out. Not really good. Whew. Oof, that's all I can say. Woof. Now, with that, we still have some army XP. Can we make these guys 20 combat width since we made all the other divisions 20 combat width? So, apparently, uh, as pretty much per the comments, we're not going to be using special forces for this campaign. If we do another Nueva Atzlan campaign eventually, then we will. Which will be totally fine with us. We're getting a lot of army XP gain. Was that really 0.16? Holy cow. Steal some technology. Not bad. The best deal. Ocelotl has a little respect for the Baron, but he understands that there is a price for such a man. Therefore, Ocelotl offers the Baron a deal. Remain neutral in the war to come, or join the Raf or join the Raphael as the next meal to the Jaguar. You'll not find a better bargain, ghoul. Coffee ready to eat. Um, that's not the Baron Garcia, but whatever. Approach the Itza. Taun Clara Guzman is a reasonable person. In exchange for our offer to cede Mexico City, they will support us in the coming struggle. Plus, we know that Tlaloc's children will come for the city better than them than us. Which is not terrible, not too bad, and I don't see very much else around here. When's the next war? Oh, in 85 days! And finalize operative operations? Well, we could do that, or we could not do that, or we don't have to do that. We could do some of this stuff. I want to get more stability. 
It's your problem now. Chichen Itza has sought to steal Mexico City from the Atzalani for years, to no avail, but Ocelotl believes the speaker when she prophesizes that Tlaloc Georgian will come for the city, and he fears the bloody Mayans will seize empire during the Civil War. Why not kill two birds with one stone, and offer the city to Tohun Kalar Guzman in exchange for a non-aggression pact during the struggle for the throne? If it makes the enemy of our enemy, it's worth it. I didn't plot to seize the empire to give it to a bunch of tribals. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give it away to anybody. No thanks. No, 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 no. I do not, not want to give it away to anybody, but... Approach Kincaid. Uh, yeah, we might as well since these are 60-day focuses. The Navy, although small, is not without its uses. We can persuade Kincaid to join us in exchange for greater funding for the Navy. In which, right now, I didn't realize it. I was making more divisions, but we weren't. We didn't have enough money for this. So, yeah, quarterly profits, they're not going up by that much. But it's better than losing money. So, we still have 20 combat with divisions. We have about 32 infantry divisions. Still 6 combat with, or 6 special forces divisions, which is pretty nice, I'd say. We have our demo teams, recon. Oh, actually, how much? Oh, ooh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe to throw on some. Uh, that's up over there. Oh, we still have some more comms to go through, such as. We have, oh, radio's done. We should go down the refined warfare doctrine. Uh, we will. Oh, you know what? We will. But I'm gonna go down this do land doctrine first. Why? Because someone did recommend that I get this stuff unlocked first in a campaign. Uh, this one. Get the mobile fortifications done, and then switch to like refined warfare and try it out. So let's try it on this campaign. If it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, well, then it obviously doesn't. But we'll see what happens. I definitely want to try that out. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, we don't really have a lot of guys around here, do we? Oof. Anything here special? Special, special? No, not really. No, not really. No, no, no. That'd be nice, but we need Imperial Decree, which obviously we cannot get. Movements on the border. Oh, boy. To arms and enemy attack. Well, then maybe we should stop training then. Even though our soldier... Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, we need so many radios now. Oh my goodness. Radios, radios, radios. We've got enough guns now for now, though, so there you go. There you go. Holy crap. That's a lot of radios we need. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. That's, that's all I can just really say about that. It's just wow. And of course, approach Kincaid. Decision wise, there's anything I can do here. Tensions on the border. I forget how long is the last. We still have the followers of the apocalypse now, just because. Oh, there we go. Just because we can. Uh, please. Oh, you have no. God dang it. I mean, at, least, at least we're defending. That's probably the best thing here. We'll probably still win, which is not bad. Oh, do you have actually an upgrade? That's kind of nice. A jungle. Oh yeah, get jungle monkey. I almost never get jungle monkey, so this is really cool. Nice victory on the border, my friends. We are victorious. Very good. Very good. Just throw them back over here because they could probably use them. And research. We can actually use some more research speed. Our resource efficiency game, which we'll grab soon enough. And you're back. Very good. Actually, do we have any more upgrades for anybody? Uh, we're approaching Kincaid. How about the Eagle Strikes? Fly like an Eagle. Um, sure. Uh, actually, I kind of want to do that one, but it's going to take a lot of time to get down there. So, the time has come. The Eagle said to the talk of many things the boots and guns and coffee cups of Jaguar Knights and Kings. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can do well with whatever happens, but you know, there's no guarantees, right? Gabriel Fraga. Uh, let's see, infantry. Ooh. Let's go with that first. For le more land night attack. 80 square one east port. Very cool. Still trying to build ourselves up here. We'll see what happens. Well, we already have 30 army XP again. Holy smokes. How much empty tank do we have? 332. Uh, maybe we'll make some more power armor. I never use power support power armor. So, how about we actually try that then? Why not? Oops. There we go. Well, at least we got around, although over 300 things of radios, which you know, could be better, could be worse, whatever. Uh, anything else here? This takes forever to do. Um, and we don't have enough cast for this. I could hurt so we, uh, I want more stability, man. I could really use more stability. Anything else over here? Yeah, that's not good. Mm. But, Eagle Cult. There you go. Good luck with that. And with you guys, what if we threw on dem- We don't want to have enough demo teams, do we? Oh, yeah, we do actually have enough demo teams, nice. And how about uh, Recon? Do we have a support commit for this? No? Yes? You know what? We'll use Recon. Why not? And there's nothing else we can support, which is fine. And we're 20 days out from that. Not bad. And then we're 22 days out from that one. Not too bad. How are these guys doing? Because they got a lot of population. To un Clara Guzman. We have way more population. They have way more divisions. How, how can they afford that? Hold on. At minimum, 83 divisions? That can't be very good, then. They have... Oh, they have... Uh, that place, as well as Chichen Itza. But even then, 
You can't imagine the two developed. If you like to read about the followers, please go right ahead. I hope they stop destroying my war support. Yeah, it's level one. I, I don't think the AI is affected by caps, which I think is a huge mistake. I think that's a massive mistake. They should be... Then again, I mean, if the AI is not extremely intelligent, so... If you hurt them too hard, they won't be able to do anything. Ooh, crowd control here is pretty good. Fly like an eagle. And additional plating, as well as what? Radio. So, the speaker's terrible. Bullet-related accident has left Ocelotto with no choice but to become speaker. Mexico City has swiftly fallen to the Itzens, who may now press their tech, but to now for war. To war. Oh, boy. We will save the Empire. Oh, boy. Hmm. Big sadness, eh? Big old sadness. And they took this stuff back. Whatever. I should have realized this. But then again, it's my first time playing through this campaign, so it is what it is, and we should do okay. Actually, we have most of the special forces here. Very nice. There you go. Alright. It is what it is. I kind of figured that we would have the Civil War now, but whatever. Lords of Atzalan. Anything else? Anything else? Not really too much down here. Uh, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. There's a lot of infrastructure. Holy cow. Uh, this office seems okay. It just doesn't seem super interesting. Noble supremacy? I kind of like that, but... Let's go with household guard regulations. Not everyone can enlist household guards. You must prove to be of noble stock, although one of the greatest signs of a noble bearing is a deep pocket. <laughs> of course. Of course it has to be. Uh, let's see. Where am I going to build stuff? Stuff. We still have enough manpower, so I'm not really too worried about it. We definitely could use more... Here, just do this. Uh, actually, don't... Put that... Get rid of that first. Hold on. And there you go. You'll get there eventually. Gotta go with one, go with one, go with one, go with one. Yeah, this is what we just gotta do for now. That's fine. You guys. Boom, ba doom ba doom ba boom Definitely you guys gotta get, gotta get one. Because you have eight. There you go. Good luck. Nope. It sucks that we lost some good generals. But you know, I guess things just have to be the way they are. Unfortunate. Actually, hopefully it gets more... Uh, who's our leader right now? James Sheridan. Alright, alright. Anything interesting about this person? Fortunate leader would be pretty good. Let's grab some more attack, perhaps, and can't get anything else. Okay, then. Alright, then. How strong are these enemies? Uh, end of the Flower Wars. Following the outbreak of a civil war for the control of the Atzalan Empire, the importance of the minor skirmishes commonly dubbed the Flower Wars has faded in the eyes of the people on both sides of the border. Instead, the two powerful factions of the Atzalan Empire at each other's throats, and rumor has it that the Itzalan war council are begging Ta'u and Clara Guzman for intervention. It seems unless it's uh, are placated, the Flower Wars might turn into a very real war. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend you guys up out here. There you go. Yeah, just go on in, guys, if you can. We I want to finish this warp as fast as possible, just because it's not going to look very good if we get attacked over here. Maybe I should have given him the territory already. Oh, well. War is done, is done. I want you all to force it. That should be more than enough strength to force it down into them. Of course, we're all not looking good here, but hey, you know. It is Mexico, I guess, for now. There we go. Come on. Do a good job. Do a good job. Go in there, too. And actually, because you're both here, I'm just going to do this. There you go. Oh, God. Go out to go all the way up to Tepic. Go, 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 go. Be rambunctious, my friends. Okay, that's not us. Oh, we have Costa Cafenada, but we have 27 divisions versus their 14. We done really... We did, We made out very, very well in trying to get the divisions on our side here. Oh, gosh, you're kind of pleased with this. Now, my main goal is, these guys will do well, they'll push in, we'll lose a couple guys, I'm not worried about manpower really, just because we have so much manpower already. Uh, but with these folks, these fine, fine soldiers, these are the real soldiers who I want to just expand as fast as possible. Uh, go right here. You can probably, oh, I wanted to encircle them, god dang it. Screw it, we need another general. Or admiral. Admiral? No, not another admiral. We need a uh, field marshal. Oh, uh, Raphael, at least we, we lost some of that political power lost from the speaker. Actually, do they... Uh, from the Navy, huh? They do. They have... Jaguar's decree, eh? Cultural Jaguar, which makes sense. Multi-purpose equipment is very nice. 
At least we have a little bit more action now than it was like last episode. Last episode was a little not as action y. And I prefer a lot of. Well, at least more action. Actually, you guys come over. Uh, Guadalajara, maybe? I'm gonna go up there so we can cut these guys off. I don't see any ports. Ah, oh, they do have one port down there, which sucks, but whatever. If you can take this province and then move over there, that'd be really nice. Toluca, that'd be very good to get, actually. But hey, if they're not gonna do anything. <laughs> if they're literally not just gonna even. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's, that's kinda nice. 1v1 and we win. Oh, we've been cut off. Oh, crap. Keep going. Keep going, Jaguars. To, to, oh, that doesn't make any sense. You're still Jaguars, but we're fighting the cult of Jag, Jaguaro. Eh, whatever. Flamers. Ooh. You know, I sometimes ask you guys which one we should use. I'm not going to ask you this time. Uh, I'm going to figure out which one we're going to use for this campaign. Also, guard regulation is not bad. Followed up with... Eh, that stuff's okay. Flying serpents, why not? Clear up control of the skies, but it's our turn now. Alright, so we're gonna go and try to get all them VPs, so that'd be kinda nice. And Tsinsutsan. Tsinsutsan. Something like that. Because these guys are basically gonna lose a civil war. Because we have to create it. That's pretty much it. I'm glad I don't have to do nearly as much fade in, fade out here. Like, uh, it's useful, but. Sometimes I just get tired of it. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Okay, you're coming to Guadalajara. All right, whatever, cool. All right, Civil War's over. <laughs> Love it. Now, that's not going to be looking very good. I'm actually going to transfer you six over here because you are going to go right there, and then you all are going to do your best holding right here-ish. One, two, three, four. Uh, you guys go right there. And each give me, or just do that, there you go. And then you guys will come right here and hopefully hold out. And we'll do whatever we have to, to, oh god, no. Uh, don't even do that, just give me like, there you go. Good enough. Uh, there you go. I don't think I'll call in Costa. We'll see what happens, we'll see. definitely see what happens. And now how much money are we making? A tad bit, so we can make another division now. At least we won. That's kind of nice, right? That's usually a pretty good win, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're really out of radios, but actually doing a lot better than I thought we would be. One, 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 one. Let's bump it back up to five. And we definitely got to repair a lot more stuff. Suppressive firepower is very nice. So we got that done. Let's grab this one. And then we'll go back and do some refined warfare just because we can. Currently, we have... Oh, we actually get a political power every day. Nice. Oh, do we lose our conventional warfare? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Nice. More division attack. And we love the eagle cult. We love the eagle cult. A flower child, eh? Just for Rugal's time, stability. Oh, that'd be so nice. Speaker for the people, but... Eh. Mm, eyes of speaker would be nice as well. What do I want? What do we want? I don't know. Life bringer, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Legacy of the Lost, not great, but not bad. Cult of Supremacy, which we gotta fix as well. Competent operatives. Lords of Atzalan, not bad. Oh, down here. Anything? Oh, Lady Lasers. Oh, sign me up. Hmm. Not really a lot here. Uh, division Defense on Core Territory. More attack would be nice. Yeah, there's seriously not a lot. I'm just going to go with this guy just because we get more uh, XP and such. So, there you go. We're going to have Command Power. Let's go and do this too. Thank you. Eugene Campbell. Inspirational. No questions asked. Any other upgrades? Any other upgrades? Nope. And we'll be done in about a month for that stuff. And after the Flying Serpents... Ah, there we go. The Rise of the Eagle. With Yanelli dead and the Jaguar defeated, the Empire belongs to the Eagle. So we can do this one... Kempasuchil Kempa within a map. The Marriage. Oh. The Wedding Vows. Oh my goodness. Turn any land that we own that's considered in their sphere of influence. They do the same to us. Or some flowers within a skull. Which sounds a little more interesting to me. They have not pulled out fuelers, so we probably have to go this way. The new Apex Predator. Hunting the great beasts. Skinning the Jaguar under the eagle's wing. Paying for the cup. Uh, oh, we need more political power then. And then fighting the children of a god. Oh boy. The real home of Mexico. Kind of like that. The splendor of the eagle. Not bad. True unity. I like that. I would love to do the marriage thing, but we can't. 
They put out some feelers. Well, it is what it is. Radio. Cool. So, Rise of the Eagle. We might as well do that, right? I, I hope we get more events regarding some of this stuff, but maybe we won't. Maybe we will. I think for this one, with the Eagle, we want to fly. And if we're flying, we can drop bombs on enemies with frag grenades. Just drop them on top of our enemies, and then they go boom. That probably sounds like the best thing to do. And here we are, everyone, November 1st, 2278, in which we are hunting the great, great Beastorinos. In which, come on game, let's, let's go over uh, The Jaguars fled like a coward after his defeat, but one cannot hide from an eagle. Of course not. In the most dangerous game, the Jaguars' travels have abandoned him. After, and after chasing him across the Empire, we found him hiding in a pre-war hotel in El Capulco. We can use this moment to determine his fate of his, of his supporters. What shall we do? Punish them. A speaker must know when to be merciful. Hmm. I like that stability in war support. I, we could really use that right now. But stability war support... Yeah, I'll do that one. The Treaty of Osaka. 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 Maybe. Once again, the time's come for us to renegotiate our protection of the coast of Caffeinata Corporation. While originally these deals were fair and beneficial, the Baron has been able to exploit a weakness in the past years, and no doubt aims to use this meeting as a final nail in the coffin of our control over Costa. We can accept the inve inevitable and grant Coast independence on our own terms, or we're going to attempt to keep them under our thumb, but this may come back to haunt us. Freedom? Atzalan refuses. We don't negotiate with ghouls? Oh, we lose factories if we lose them, so... You know what? If we don't have them with us, that can prove to be very, very bad for us. But, you know what? I have them have our independence. Let's see what happens. Screw it. Why not? Paying for the cup. Let's see what happens. Well, we have not forgotten the Baron's conduct in the War for the Gold and the Turquoise. So, we're probably going to lose them. We might still become allies, but... Alright, there we go. We lost them. Do we lose any factories? Doesn't look like it, so okay, it could, could have been a lot worse. And that just means we don't have to guard them. Oh, what happened here? Um, yeah, seriously, what happened here? Why did my... Why did the lines go bad? This is very strange. Okay, well, just in case, we're gonna do this then. There you go, you, you can use all that. You five are where? Are you... Ah, oh, there you are, there you go. And then U7, can you... No, we can't do anything against these guys, huh? Maybe it's part of the game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look, actually. So, they're allied with Honduras. I'm trying to make this apparently more difficult for us, just because I just don't want them as a puppet, apparently. And we need to raise up our economy, economy laws, because we're still stuck on Wasteland Economy. Even though I should have went with the local army earlier, I also got the Me Mestia of Alcapoco, so former more special forces attack defense and special forces capacity multiplier. Obviously, we have Yorg Te Tejador. Tejador? Tejador? I, I, yeah. My pronunciations obviously aren't very good. And we're also trying to get more divisions, but we're really lacking a lot of radios here. But we're doing a little better. We're doing a little better here. We even have some fire teams. I think we could probably use fire teams. We don't have a lot of divisions, so... Excuse me, but we got to get as much defense as possible, so this should help out at least a little bit. But only if we have them researched. Um, yeah, we do, which is not bad. So hopefully this will help us out. Let's go and do this finally. I should have done this a long time ago. And there we go. We have up to 10. And hopefully we can build a little bit faster. Oh, crud. Well, that sucks. You know what? That really sucks. I hate that. You have to, I hate that this type of focus. I really hate it. My apologies. I screwed up there. Just go skin the Jaguar. It's time to decide the fate of the Jaguar himself. Detente with Itza? While our official policy is downright hostility to the Chichen Itzen Empire, we leave certain diplomatic back channels open to their diplomats as they do to, for ours. Recently, though, through one of our contacts in Costa Caffeinata, we've been informed of sentiment within the Itzen Council for a former detente, and even the possibility of warmer relations between the two empires. While it's a remarkable turn of policy, it certainly warrants some consideration, which we should still do with skinning the, the Jaguar, but. They can't be serious. Well, it doesn't sound like it's such a terrible idea. Well, maybe we won't go to war with them. Maybe we might just do the Kempasuchil, and uh, we might get hitched. Ooh, an agent was captured. Well, that's not very good now, is it? Skinning a Jaguar. The Jaguar's troubles have abandoned him. His followers are crushed. What shall we do with the Jaguar himself? Let's see how he does in a fight with his namesakes, or let him make a public sign of submission and make a blood oath to the new speaker. Well, I want to see what happens if he does a fight with his namesakes, and we're going to go ahead. Ooh, under the eagle's wing. I want to see what kind of happens with this one. That seems kind of interesting, doesn't it? 
And, well, we have the marriage of Clara and Raphael. How do you heal decades of conflict and bloodshed? Well, it seems it's simple. A, s a wedding! Today at midday, Clara and Raphael said their vows and forever changed the course of Itzan Atzan history. Whilst Clara has made abundantly clear she's not after a marriage of love, or not within a man at least, she couldn't even pass on the opportunity a marriage with Raphael would bring in, namely an alliance with her once graven enemy. The alliance means that Atzlan, its own forces, can be concentrated against mutual foes in the north, and those who refuse to bend the knee to the south. Truly, all of Mexico should fear the alliance. Cheers to a thousand years of friendship. The Mesoamerican alliance. Cool. And we did get something over here as well. It's, uh, I love democracy? No. It was, till love do us part. Marry your greatest rival. This is very weird. I've never done this one. Which actually makes me want to go to kind of go to war with these guys, too. Maybe we should not let them go, but wedding vows? Ring, ring, ring. Loses core. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That is not good. But, you know what? We're going to do it anyways. And we finally have true unity. For the first time since the Great War, Southern Mexico is united and at peace. Who knows what we will do now? In which we get 10% more, or 10 more political power. 0.1 more political power, really. 5% more stability and 5% more division attack. In which we shall go ahead and conclude this episode... Which is a little bit shorter than normal, of course. And unfortunately, we can't get these focuses, but in time, we will. We're going to go ahead and probably do, or at least I'll do all this one off screen, paying for the cup. We haven't forgotten the Baron's conduct of the War for the Golden Turquoise, of course. We will, I will finish that one off screen soon. But I think the next one we shall do will be something simple, something easy. Such as... I'm going to think those wings that be kind of nice. I'm going to wait for this stuff when we resume together. And industry and electronics, it's not bad. I kind of like that. Uh, infrastructure, do, do, do it. Civilian workshops are not bad. And I'll do the 100 flowers bloom. Why not? The empire's reforms help the entire nation, natonin, or entire nation, prosper. From the great cities to the smallest villages, each orchid in the imperial garden reaches to the sun. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. So I know it's a little shorter than what I normally do, especially for the length of my normal episodes, but oh well. If you like the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, I will make the next few videos a little bit longer in, in exchange for this video being a little shorter, hopefully. But I will see you tomorrow when we will probably go to war with the rest of Mexico once the lock dies. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.